Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to replace this Works Leaf Collection Universal Adapter with this custom 3D printed adapter for Ryobi on Dad It Yourself. If you've been around my channel, you've seen this thing before. This is the Ryobi 40 volt leaf vacuum and mulcher, and I use this thing all the time. It's a workhorse. Up here in the Pacific Northwest, we got trees and we got lots of leaves. So I use this thing every season and when I mow my lawn to pick up the grass clippings. And mom it yourself, she really likes keeping the sidewalks and driveways clear. You guys probably remember when I did the Ryobi leaf vacuum mulcher adapter to the Works leaf collection system, and I had to use this adapter. Well, this thing didn't work really well. It kept falling off and there's no real way to secure it. I really liked the locking connection here, but I wasn't real happy with this. Well, if you saw my subsequent video where I built the adapter for the Ryobi vacuum mulcher to the Black & Decker shoulder bag, I was able to make an adapter that fit both sides. So today we're back here with the Works Leaf Pro Leaf Collection System, and we're gonna make it work this time with 3D printing. This is the Works Leaf Pro Leaf Collection System. It consists of a lid that goes over your can, a hose that connects it, and this universal adapter that connects to non-Works leaf mulchers and vacuums like my Ryobi. And like I said earlier, I really don't like the way this connects to the Ryobi vacuum. It's just not there. With my Black & Decker system, I was able to make the base of that. So I already have that half of the adapter. And what I needed to do was model this pretty much from here to here, and then put these two knobs on it so that it fits into the works system. And so I jumped into SketchUp and I modeled that up and I 3D printed it and I came up with this one right here. And let's go ahead and check that out and see if it works. So here's the end of the collection hose that goes to the adapter. And as you can see, this adapter, make sure we get it in the right way here, twist locks right in. So have the adapter that I 3D printed and look at that. Perfect fit. Now all I have to do is attach the Ryobi side to it. Let's get back into SketchUp. If you didn't see my Black & Decker video, just a reminder, to use this 3D printed adapter, you have to cut this off of the Ryobi leaf vacuum. Uh, the original adapter goes down and makes a 90 degree turn for the stock leaf bag, but that doesn't work with the adapter. So now that I'm done in SketchUp, I'm gonna send this over to the 3D printer and we'll get this printed. Well, here it is, hot off the printer and sleek, like a professionally built off the shelf product. This thing's gonna go a long way and help me out and look, it matches all my other Ryobi. That said, if you want it in black, you can get it in black too. Okay, there's a fresh batch of leaves out on the ground. Let's go out and give this thing a try. I just finished mowing and edging my lawn. And I have this giant pile of stuff right here. As you can see, my trees are maybe, that one kinda is getting a little yellow, but we're still early in the season. It's only in the middle of September. But I wanna try this thing out. And we're gonna try it on that pile of grass and those leaves over there to see if this thing works. Okay, and as you can see, all the leaves all mulched up in the can. That thing worked really well. As expected, this thing worked like a champ. I can get rid of this sloppy thing that falls off all the time, and I can use this from now on. The only downfall to the Works Leaf Collection system is this eight foot hose. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a cordless tool. But I've got an idea. And if you think I should make a separate video about making this hose longer, put that down below in the comments. If you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll have a link to my Etsy store down in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. 
If I've done something in this video or one of my other videos that you found helpful, consider becoming a channel member or giving me a super thanks. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down here. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.